What if I told you most people do it completely wrong, right? Let's go over a few things. We'll get into that in a second. But look here, we have two N8N workflows that are going to teach you how to think like a robot, to think like an AI agent, to rank your website higher on Google. This is going to be an unscripted, you know, kind of rough video, but I want to go over the details here because it is so powerful. Why do we have these guys on the screen? It's because we want to be like SEO wizards. Most people, most business owners, most SEO agencies, they're trying to strive for what? More leads, more ranking on you know websites. And that would be an SEO wizard. I want to be like that guy right there. Nice watch, a weird cane. I'm all for it, right? So what this video is about, SEO wizard hacks, you got to think like a robot. Seriously, you do have to think like a robot, right? Because if Google ranks a website based upon what? Based upon data? Well, we have to start thinking like a data-driven robot. And so what I'm going to teach you is how to do this cheap how to do this easy and explain why most people don't do this and how you can get a competitive advantage so you can rank your website higher. Now we have two workflows. Which one should we do first? This is a mega one. This is humongous. Let's do the smaller one first, the website SEO data collector. Why is this cool? Well, it fetches domain rank, top pages, keyword metrics, and competitor intersections with any website. This works with any website. Most people that I've witnessed that want to rank a website higher cannot afford Ahrefs, SEMrush, the expensive tools. That's why we built these things right here. I give you access in the Rank Expand Academy. But what are we going to do? We're going to trigger an input setup. So what we have here is a simple form. So we like to use Google Sheets. And all we have to do is type in a URL here. So we're going to use this one as an example. So Hannah Rose Gray, this website ranks pretty darn good for certain things. It's an interesting website. It's like a travel website. This can work for anything. Right? And remember, this is an unscripted video. We're just going to go off the cuff. So what we're going to do, we're going to type this in. And what does the N8N workflow do? It does one, two, three, four different things. So it's going to grab the domain rank. So if I come over here, this is the API we're using. We're using data for SEO API. So you always have to use some real world data, right? If you're just using ChatGPT by itself, you're missing out because it hallucinates on data. It's not strong. But if you combine it with APIs like data for SEO, you're cooking with fire. So it's going to use that across the board. Do you see here? Uh, data for SEO. Scroll down here. See right here? Data for SEO right here. So all four of these things do something very similar, right? We're going to grab the DR, the domain rank. We're going to grab the relevant pages. We're going to grab the ranked keywords. And we're going to figure out what competitors we have. And what we're left with is an absolute huge amount of data that we can use for like so many ways. And here's the cool part. We don't have to pay an arm and a leg to get access to the data. If you have a website and you need data because you need data to be an SEO wizard, like if we're going to come back to this guy, if you want to be this guy, you have to use data. Well, here's your data for cheap, right? And this is as good as the other tools, right? In fact, other tools, they pipe into this SEO data API. They already pipe into it. So we're just going straight to the source, right? So we can see here, let's go to the page one, domain rank. Okay, we have this approximate amount of traffic. Cool. We can come over here. What are some good ranking pages on this website? Well, this is the best page they have on the website right here. We can see Hawaii's best beaches. This is their strongest page. Very cool. Their second strongest page is right here, honeymoon in Greece. So all of a sudden I'm able to see, all right, if this is a competitor or if this is my website, I know which ones are my strongest pages, right? And I can emulate them. And we can go a step further, right? Let's keep going. Domain ranked keywords. We can see everything they rank for right here. And then we can come over here to competitor analysis. And I can start to see, oh, maybe I need to go to honeymoondreams.co.uk to see what they're up to. And here's why this matters, right? Most people can't afford HF SEMrush and they don't use it. They guess. You should not guess anymore. You have tools that can get the data for a fraction of a penny. Why are you not using tools, right? If you're using Ahrefs or SEMrush, I still use those because I have an agency. My agency can afford them, right? But if you're not in that boat, you should be using something like this. Now, I'm going to show you something everyone should be using. This one's wild. Let's scroll out here. This is a big boy. This is a big N8N workflow. This is the internal link and optimization and recommendation. This one's wild because most people, even big time SEO agencies and agents, or not agents, people, right? We're not going to cut that. We're going to keep that. Most people who are SEOs, most SEO agencies, most newbies have no idea what the heck this is. They've never seen anything like it, right? If I want to be an SEO wizard, I have to think like a robot. Why? Well, because Google and all these things, they think like robots because they are robots. It's all data-driven decisions. They actually combine user engagement 
with the robotic type of data decisions, but you know, beside the point. We have to think like a robot to a degree. And what this does is it analyzes internal links on your website. And it is a big, big, big N8N workflow. Look at this thing. But at the end of the day, what I care about, what this thing does, it's going to take any page you give it, it's going to look at the internal links on that page and give you recommendations to either delete this one or keep this one. Now this is the output, right? I'm not gonna get into it too much right now, but what I did, I gave it this URL here. For some reason on this channel, I come back to this specific blog. I don't know, best beaches in Hawaii is a fun term to talk about. But what it will do, it's gonna scrape this website, this specific page, and give us recommendation on the internal links. And you're gonna see, if I scroll over to the right, it's gonna say, keep this one, keep this one, ignore this one, ignore this one. And the cool part is, and it even gives us recommendations to add. The cool part is, the coolest part is, you really get to see how an AI robot thinks. And there's, I don't think there's a tool that does this well until this moment, right? I'm sure there is, I'm just not aware of it. So what we're going to do, we're gonna come over here. We like to start at what? A Google Sheet. So this is step one, import something into your Google Sheet. So user input, boom, put your URL here, put the main domain, the root domain, and then the slug path, right? And then the keyword you want to rank for. Very cool. So you can see this will work for any website. Now check this out. We are about to jump into the specifics here, right? I want to get into the specifics of this workflow, but realize all of this is available in the Rank Expand Academy. So this is one of the fastest growing school communities on the platform. Check this out. Pretty exciting stuff. A lot of people have joined. So you'll see here in the tech category for this quarter, we are the number three fastest growing school community. I think we're in the top 10 overall for the whole school platform, right? But what you're gonna do when you join, you're gonna come over to Classroom, and we have weekly calls, we have all kinds of things. You're gonna click Start here, you're gonna learn about what we offer, right? You can learn microsites down here. We have a lot. But what you're gonna do is click here, AI Tools and Workflows, and scroll down to N8N Workflows. There's a lot of stuff here that you can learn, you can implement right now. And the whole goal with this community is if you want to use AI to make money online, this is your place. Now getting into the specifics, we are gonna start with a Google Sheet, right? All we're going to do is we're going to type in our URL, our domain, our slug path, our keyword. We're able to hone in on a keyword. That's great because that allows us to work in any type of website, e-com, local business, it doesn't matter, this works. Very powerful. So let's come back over here. Let's keep it going. So 2.1, we're gonna extract the on-page internal links. We often use what? You've already seen it in this video, but we often use data for SEO. Yet again, the API. So in the school community, we like to keep things go in the same direction. We use Google Sheets and we use the same APIs over and over again to make your life easier, right? Because we have all these tools, we don't wanna have like a segmented idea. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the on-page internal links and it's gonna go through all the if-thens and loops and it's gonna spit it out. Okay, cool. Step number two is extract the SERP results. So retrieve related URLs from Google search results via the data for SEO API within the keyword and the domain. So we're going to come here, post SERP task, and same thing, same API, very cool. And then number three, extract the HTML on page content. This thing, it grabs the links, it grabs all the copy on the page so it can understand the context of what's going on here. And what it does, it comes over here and it pushes the majority of this to what? Well, number one, there's a GBT right here waiting for us. We are gonna come in here, it says, you are an internal link and optimization analyst, an advanced AI agent specializing in evaluate, evaluating and improving on-page internal links. And it's gonna go through all this. I'll scroll down so you can see it, right? If you wanna pause the screen, do it, very cool. And then it, it pushes everything, absolutely everything, the copy of the page too, right, to one more GBT for a final recommendation. And I'll just scroll down here you can, so you can see it. But the idea, the idea is always to do the same thing. The idea is always to get real data from an API, right, and push it to AI agents, GBT, to get good recommendations. Now what surprised me and what will surprise you is you're gonna be able to see all your internal links and you might not realize how many weird internal links your page has. That's step number one. Do you have a weird internal link that you didn't think you had, right? And you are going to. So this is how a robot will read your page. And this is super important. If this tool says to ignore it, do you see link action here? It will also give you the rationale. 
So let's come down here. It says here's albums. Let's ignore this one. It's excluded from optimization, not found in body content, likely global template link. You have to understand if you want to keep it, if you want to delete it, and the rationale why. And the tool does it all for you. Now, if we scroll down even more, we have potential ads. And this is cool. It can give you recommendations on what to add as an internal link. There has been tools upon tools upon tools that have tried to do this well. And I think this is the best one available. This does not have the internal links for this one right here. It's about a honeymoon. And then this one right here, it's about Kailua, Hawaii. And this one about Nalu, Oahu, Hawaii, so on and so forth. The crazy thing is, it tells us what to delete, tells us what to keep, and then it tells us what to actually add. Now, I want to invite you to the Rank Expand Academy. You can just come in here, hit Classroom, come over here, AI Tools and Workflows, and you can literally just download these things right here. You can download all the N N workflows, and we're adding to them weekly. The value of this community is humongous. The most exciting thing to me, quite frankly, is the scale in microsites. I like this one the best. And the reason is I just think it's the biggest opportunity in AI SEO right now. But listen, N8N workflows can enable you to actually get the data if you couldn't afford it before. And then you can actually get data you never had access to in the past. The internal linking tool to me is absolutely wild. We can actually think like robots now. And I love it. I'm a big fan. So hopefully you like this. Please make sure to subscribe, like, comment below, and I'll see you in the academy.